right now I'm hearing you say, don't worry about me and the family when that's I'm true. like that. That's what I am actually saying, that not to worry about me. Just let me think for a while or be quiet for a moment. And when that works, when that does, then I'll gradually come back and say, I'll tell you what's wrong. Mm -hmm. As you hear that right now, Linda, does that help you, what Jack just now said? No, I don't think it does. That doesn't help you. What, could you, would you change places for me, with me for a minute? Let's see, we got to be careful now that we don't get our wires all tangled. <laughs> get your wires crossed. <laughs> got it? Mm hmm Okay. Uh, I don't know here. We're kind of tying, tying ourselves up. <laughs> would, could you, let's move up here a little bit. Could you move a little closer? Watch your fingers. Okay. Could you move a little closer too? What would help you more uh, with um, Jack, when he goes into these silent times, if he talked to to me about it, okay, I worry. I'm the. I worry about what he's thinking as well as what's really going on. Would you make a little play with me? Here's Jack, and he's he's there, and he's not talking. Let's make a little play. Your little play about. What's going on? Is it something like, I wonder what, why Jack is upset? Does it have something to do with me? Uh, is he angry and not telling me? Is it something like that? Yeah. I usually say, are you mad at me? What did I do? <laughs> when he doesn't talk to me, he builds walls. Okay. And I feel a lot, sometimes like I'm on the outside. And his silence is kind of a barrier. Okay. 